Hey everybody and welcome back again. It's getting close to winter, so it must be fall or autumn. Leaves are turning as you can see. Grass is starting to die down. What we're going to be making today is some over-the-top smoked chili. That'll get you through some of those cold days and winter nights. And we're going to make it a keto style. Today in the Cook Newfoundlander. Welcome back to the barbecue cart. I'm sure you can hear the uh, pit boss Austin Excel going in the background. We got our heating up. So today we're going to be doing an over the top smoked chili. It's a uh, keto style. Now you can make this any way that you want, of course. Uh, but today, of course, we're going to make it in a keto style. But you know, add whatever spices and vegetables, whatever you want. I have here a cast iron skillet. And I'm going to be putting that on the pit boss, smoking this at about 225. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is I have here a large chopped onion, uh, probably medium to fine, four cloves of garlic. Now, I use pre-minced garlic. You know, you buy the big bottles in Costco. So this is actually a tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in our pot. Just like that. I'm going to put this on the pit boss first, and I'm going to brown up some of this onion and make sure it's uh, translucent, make it look nice and neat. Then afterwards, what I'm going to be adding is a, a cup of diced tomatoes. This is just from a can. I'm going to be adding two cups of beef broth. 100 mils of black coffee and a half cup of your favorite low carb beer or any beer at all now normally when i make when i used to make chili before i started the keto diet or a low carb diet i would use a can of guinness now you can certainly use that and you can skip the black coffee and the regular beer you just throw in a can of guinness or your favorite stout and that will work just fine for this recipe i'm also going to be using a 1.8 ounce pack of grass-fed grain finished uh ground beef this is about 80 20 it's probably close to a uh, close to a regular to that i'm going to be adding some spices this is one tablespoon of black pepper two tablespoons of paprika one teaspoon of habanero uh, one tablespoon of ground organic oregano two tablespoons of chili powder i'm going to put all of this in the description below so don't worry about pausing the video and you know trying to write it all down at once don't worry it'll all be down there then i'm going to put it on the pit boss i'll show you that and how we make over the top chili i've never made it before i've just always used the traditional style chili but we'll see how it works out let's get this on the pit all right so i, I took the top grate out of the pit boss I'm just going to go ahead and put this right over the burner in the middle and I'm going to close the lid this came up the temp now I'm going to move it up to 225 and then I'm just going to saute some of this onion and garlic till it goes translucent before I add all the wet ingredients in I'll uh, catch you back when I get that done now while we're waiting for that to saute on the smoker what we're going to do is we're going to mix up our meat so normally what you do is you take your ground beef, put it into a pan, and brown it before you add it into your sauce. But with an over-the-top chili, of course, you're going to smoke this ground beef, and you're going to let the drippings drop in. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and open this. Pour that inside of a bowl. And we're going to get our gloves on. So we're going to just mix up some of this by hand. You could put it in the mixing bowl, I guess, or like a mixer if you wanted to, but, uh, you know, barbecue is meant to be done with the hands, right? Now, this is probably going to fall apart a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in some SPG. This is salt, pepper, garlic rub. About the same uh, rub mixture that I use on my brisket videos, and you can check that up over here. Be pretty generous because you want to be, uh, you want to have nice seasoning on this meat. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. 
Now, you could use breadcrumbs in order to get some cohesion uh, with this meat, but I'm actually just going to crack an egg. And I'm going to mix an egg in with there. This is going to be our binder that's going to hold this meat together. It's almost like you're making hamburger patties. You could also mix in some uh, pork rinds with this, some grated pork rinds. That would hold it all together as well. But there's lots of fat in here, uh, enough to hold this giant meatball together. We just want to mix in all those spices and that egg. We're going to be bringing this meat up to a temperature of 165. So when we go to put it on the pit and smoke it, we're going to put a, a probe in there, and today we're going to be using our Inkbird uh, X2. I have actually never used the temperature probes on the pit pass. Maybe one day I'll do that. I don't know why I've never done it. I just haven't. Just one of those things, I guess, you know, you never get around to. And, you know, you pay money for all these extra probes, so why not use them, right? All right. So uh, that looks pretty well mixed to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. When we get our onion sauteed, we're going to mix this into a ball, and we're going to throw it on top of this rack. Get smoking. Get you back. All right, so we've browned up these onion and garlic about as much as that we really want to. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to add in our beer. That's about a half cup. It's good enough for me. Then we're going to add in our crushed tomatoes. To that, we're going to add in our coffee. And on to that, we're going to add in our beef broth. And to that, we're going to add in our spices. Give that a little mix. Just to stir that around a little bit. Holding the meat here in my hand. Huh. Maybe I'll just lay that down. There we go. Now you may be asking yourself, does this actually really taste like chili? You know, like normally chili has all these vegetables in it. Beans, well, you know, that's controversy, of course. But I've made this style of chili before inside the house. I love it. It's really good. If you're looking for something a little bit more low carb, it's great. Drop my spatula. So this is the meatball, and I got it up on a rack. So what you do is you place it over the top like this, hence the over-the-top chili porch. Put a probe in there. And we'll wait until it gets up to 165. We'll check back in a little while. We were rocking about 250. And at 127 internal. Let's have a look. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Mm, looks good. I'd like to see if I can give that a stir. But I think if I try to disturb it, it might fall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this rack here, take that off, and just give that a little stir. It's coming along very nicely. Catch you back in a bit. Well, it's been a few hours. Just took it off the smoker. Let's see how it looks. All right, so I, I took the meat off the tray and I dumped it down here inside. So I'm going to just use my glove here because this is obviously piping hot. And I'm just going to take this masher thingy and I'm just going to try to break this up and incorporate it down inside of this chili. There we go. Just kind of break it up, get it all in around these juices here. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit watery, which I'm actually quite a little bit surprised about. A lot of times this chili is actually pretty thick. 
So what I may end up doing is might may put a little bit of xanthan gum down here inside. And we'll see how that turns out. All right, I'm just gonna mash this up a little bit more and then I'll bring it right back. All right, after a few minutes of mashing, uh, you can see that it has uh, thickened, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna add a little bit of xanthan into this and probably just thicken up the broth a little bit. You can see it's, it's not extremely watery. Let's go in and have a taste and see what it's all about. Now, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Now that's different. Ooh. I think we'll use a little bit more chili powder. Get that um, nice little sting of coffee coming through, almost just like the, the Guinness chili that I make. Mmm. It's actually really tasty. You, you do get that smoke flavor from the beef, and it gets in around the, the, the sauce of the chili. Wow, that's, that's great. Turned out really good. Not that I'm really surprised anything that goes on a smoker has got to be great, right? I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Really helps the channel out. And until next time, everybody, get cooking.